What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Razorback, we're going to be doing a quick gun guide on this gun for you guys, so let's get straight into it and waste no time, let's go. So the Razorback has a magazine size of 30 rounds, 42 if you do put extended max, which we won't be using in the best class setup. Uh, the reload time is 1.8 seconds, uh, that's how long it takes for you to reload, like take out the clip and put it back in the gun. Uh, the rate of fire is 625 rounds per minute, not too fast, not too slow, pretty much in my opinion the perfect balance for a submachine gun, kind of like a assault rifle type of feel, that's what it gives it because of the rapid, uh, not the rapid fire, the rate of fire. Uh, the accuracy is medium to high which is the best in the class because of that rate of fire is fairly low. Um, it does give it good accuracy for this gun. The best class is for me is Elo, Quick Draw, and Stock. These three attachments are great. You could put Long Barrel on there as well, or you could put um, Extended Mags or Fast Mags to help you reload faster. Uh, secondary, you're gonna want the RK5 just by itself, and you're gonna want Six Sense, Fast Hands, and Gung Ho. In my opinion, these are the three best perks that you should have on any class, or you could put Overclock instead of Six Sense. Um, so yeah, that is the best class and those are the um, attachments for the Razorback. So for the Razorback, what you're going to want to do, this is, I'm going to start doing this in videos. You're going to want to play with the Razorback kind of defensively, uh, start out on the sides so you can um, kind of like use that long range and that low uh, recoil to your advantage because the accuracy is medium high best in class. So if you do have that on a submachine gun, you're going to want to kind of play uh, conservatively and not really rush into the enemy spawn you're going to want to wait for them and you're going to want to stay on the outside of the map for example i play on nuketown a lot you can either stay on both sides of the car or you can stay kind of on the side of the spawn i don't know how to describe it but on those other um the left and right sides from where you spawn behind the houses you want to stay there don't really necessarily camp in the house because if there is someone in the other opposite house unless you have long barrel or you just have flawless accuracy you're not gonna you're probably not gonna beat them so yeah that is pretty much it for this uh, gun guide guys i hope you guys enjoyed this little um second part where i kind of describe how to play with this gun so i can help you guys get better at the game so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye